Hello and welcome to another Reality Check VR video. Uh, today I'd like to introduce the Oculus integration as well as the Leap Motion integration with uh, Unity 5.1. Um, I know many people are into making the games right now, but uh, it's not so straightforward and there's a lot of information out there. Um, and since the updates are constantly coming out, um, we uh, don't always have the proper information to get what we need. All right, what we have here is a brand new Unity project. I have just started Unity 5.1 and I imported the assets of nature and characters just so that we had something to work with. First thing we have to do is we go over here to edit, project settings, player. Under player you're gonna see over here virtual reality supported. Check that. Changing active VR IPI requirements, reloading all graphics objects, it might take a while apply. In this case we don't have anything on uh, our project so that it's instantly transferred. Um, it's preferable to do this at the beginning of your game development that way you don't have to have any problems with uh, changing uh, whether it be a mesh or just any kind of a any kind of problems that just can come up with uh, coding in general there's just so many. Okay so just to show you what we have here um, if I hit the play button right away and pick up my oculus you can already see that it's moving around moving around and actually if I look through my oculus I can actually see what's happening in the world. Although there's nothing in the world right now, it's amazing that it actually goes right to your Oculus so you can actually see um, the game instantly. And I've got it in direct mode, so of course as soon as you hit the play button again, your Oculus goes right back into standby. You're not wasting any screen life or anything like that. And uh, of course it stays nice and cool because it's not on all the time. Okay, so very quickly I want to jump into Unity. We're going to create a quick terrain here. Um, that way we can have a basis of where our character is going to stand. I'm going to put a character in the level. We're going to attach the Oculus to his head in a very, very um, novice way. And then uh, we're going to add leap uh, motion support. That way we can at least play with that. First, you need to go into Game Objects, create a 3D object, Terrain. Boom, you've got your terrain. Zoom all the way out here. The terrain's huge. We can move our little sliders here and we can just put the train where we want. I'm going to zoom back in on the camera. If you double click on anything in your hierarchy, it'll instantly just zoom into it, which is, uh, you know, very helpful. So raise lower terrain. You've got your paint height, your smooth height, paint texture, place trees, paint details, terrain settings. You can imagine they are all exactly what they say they are. Um, so we're going to build some mountains. Whoa, not where I wanted to build mountains. We're going to build some mountains right as we're just talking about mountains, we're building them. We building them up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I think it's kind of nice to have mountains behind mountains because then that really adds to the depth. Wow. Yeah. All right. Let's change our texture a little bit. Um, so you've got these little rocks, these little valleys, and you can kind of paint over it. Um, makes it look a lot more real and defined. Mind you, this is without any shaders or anything like that. So um, this is very basic right now in its, its current situation. Okay. Now let's hit the play button. Ho 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 ho. That's right. Okay, I can't move at all, but I can see... Oh, wow. That mountain looks really cool. So even now, within just a few minutes, I can already sit there and look around at the creation of my terrain. I can see the mountains. I can see the valleys. I can see the different textures. I can see the smooth hill that I created over there. Um, and honestly, it just... It already looks really nice. I, I kind of like that. The shadows look beautiful. They're already there. Um, and the the blending of just the three textures already does a really good job. All right, so in order to add a character, we go over here to Assets. Quit messing with me, Unity. Click on Assets. We click on Standard Assets. We go into Characters. Uh, I'm going to go to Third Person Character just because I like the way this looks more. Um, we're going to pick a third person, which is little Ethan. Unity's Ethan right there. And we're going to drag and drop him onto our scene. I'm going to take his position, put it to zero, zero, zero. So it's all zeros. We're going to take that main camera, and I'm also going to put it in all zeros, which you can see now it's at his feet, not quite where we want it to be. Um, I'm going to, I think it's 1.5 is where I usually like it to be. So yeah, 1.5 right around where his head's at. And you can see, boom, instantly. It looks like his vision is going out that direction. So the camera is facing the right way. It is exactly where his uh, eyes want to be at. Next, I'll take the camera, and I'm going to move it ever so slightly forward, just a little bit, and down just a tad. And you can, of course, play with that as you need to. Okay, now I'm going to show you what uh, a lot of people find is the first problem they'll have. And as soon as you hit play right here, after you put the camera right where you wanted it to be, 
you go to move and there he goes there goes the character moving without his head all right yep and in order to fix this which uh, of course can be a really cool thing if you want it to be done like this but um, if it's not meant to be like this it's not cool so what you can do is you can simply unplay the game go over to where your camera is take the camera and make it a child of the third person controller just drag it on top of it and drop as soon as you do that go ahead and hit play and as soon as you start moving you'll notice yeah you've you've instantly already got the character control right here woohoo woohoo so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and see how it feels oh I got my body I got my body I got my body I got my woo woo okay so just for fun we're gonna click on the third person controller go over here to jump power change that to 60 take the gravity multiplier make it uh, how about 1.75 we'll just turn it down just a bit and we're gonna take the move multiplier to uh, how about even two is good two two is good enough for me I'm gonna take the that to two now we're going to play this one out and see how how it goes I gotta hit play once it's on oh yeah okay check this out are you ready so within just a few minutes in unity we've already created our own little area created our own little character have super speed yep yep and super jump woo woo -hoo! yeah okay all right that is just always fun it'll never not be fun yep and my character's just freaking owning it boom yeah Go, go, yeah! Go, go, gadget! Woo! Oh! Oh my gosh, look like freaking diamond cliffs. Boom! Alright, luckily I've got my VR legs underneath me, or else that would make me very sick if I wasn't used to this. Lastly, we gotta jump up to the top of the mountain. Can we jump up to the top of the mountain? Can we jump up to the top of the mountain? Can we jump up to the top of the... Can we jump up to the... Oh, stupid valleys. Stupid valleys, no! I need to jump up to the top of the mountain. Oh, yeah. Jump up to the top of the mountain. Oh, yeah. Jump up to the top of the mountain. Oh, no. No, I'm in a hole. No, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. Oh, no, I'm in a hole. I'm never going to get to the top of the mountain. Check this out. We're going to click on scene. As the game's still going, we're going to find me in the hole. Yeah. I'm in the hole right now. Check it. But I can actually pull myself out of the hole. We're going to we're going to pull myself out of the hole, man. No! Okay, you keep falling back into the hole, dude. Yeah. We're back into the game. Oh, and I'm, I'm wait, I'm out of the wait. All right. I freed myself. I freed myself. I freed myself. All right, so that's how easy it is to create your cliff jumping game. <laughs> so what we've done is we've downloaded the Leap Motion Core Asset 2.3.1. As, as of this moment, that is the most recent one. Um, if you just double click the Unity file, it should open up into the Unity program. Okay, it'll look like something that you see over here on the left. It'll have all these uh, assets right here. Um, they should say new on the right, otherwise you've already got them. Um, so what you'll do is you'll just hit import as soon as you hit import it will begin to import into your current project at this point it's possible that unity will say that the API update is required go ahead and say that you've made a backup go ahead unless you didn't make a backup then don't go ahead alright what you need to do after you've imported the assets for the leap motion is to find them in your assets uh, panel here under the project and find the prefabs which are either the leap motion OVR prefabs or of course they've got their uh, normal prefabs at the moment it seems like uh, they've got a lot of problems with 5.1 so currently I'm gonna use the prefab right here which is the hand controller cycler just so we can play around with some different views here um, we're gonna put head mounted on there and uh, of course I'm going to then put this in the right position which was 0 0 0, 1.5, negative 90, 180, yeah, there
there you go. Scales 15. Okay, so what I did was I changed the rotation so that it was in the right spot with a negative 90, 180. And of course I changed the scale to 1.5 so that it's a little more normal. <laughs> We're going to find out here exactly how this looks here in just a quick moment. And just like before, make sure you take the hand controller cycler and put it under the main camera. That way the camera and the hand controller are in the same spot. If you put the hand controller without being parented to the camera and you move your head, then the hand just moves all kinds of weird. So they have to be parented the right way. Um, so make sure, like I said, the controller is the child of the camera. So let's see what I did there. We're going to hit play. I put my hand up in front of me. All right, I can see a hand. Looks like it's hitting me. My hand's actually touching my body, which is not exactly what I want, but I can see my hands, which is exactly, which is what I want. All right, go back to scene here. So you can see how we've got the hands coming right out of the body here. All right, looks pretty cool. What we can do to fix the hand from actually touching the body is take the collider and make it a little smaller. Right now the radius is 0.3, we're going to make it 0.1 because uh, the smaller it is, the less likely it will be touching our leap. We're also going to take the hand controller cycler and we're going to move it forward just a bit, down just a bit where the arms actually would be. And that seems to be about right, right there. Alright, there we go. Now I've got my hands working. Of course, I can sit there and change between different types of hands. Alright, so there you have it. Within just a few minutes, you can take a program like Unity, add your favorite virtual reality headset, put your hands out in front of you. Ooh, pretty hands. Alright, here we go. Yeah, man. My hand's freaking out while I don't. It knows what's going on. It knows what's going on. It knows what's going on. It knows me too well. Why can't I get above this mountain? Why? 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 Tell me why, robot hand, why?